ready for the blackout part two? Come to this blackout, ready to have fun. In July 16th in Atlanta, Georgia. It's almost time for the blackout. Hey, is you ready for the blackout? Hey. Hey guys, B Hands here of PrettyPRChick.com. So thanks so much for tuning into this video. So before we get started, you know the routine. Please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button. If you like what you see, please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new to my channel. And please be sure to leave a comment and share this video wherever you share videos. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys what I picked up at IMATS New York. If you have not already seen my IMATS New York vlog, then I will link it below. and Make sure you check it out after you watch this video. But I did not go ham this year at IMATS. This is probably the first time that I've been to IMATS that I stayed under budget. And I didn't go crazy. Um, this was my fifth year going to IMATS. I've been going to IMS New York since like 2012. I just picked up a few things that really like stuck out to me. So first off, you know, I'll show you what I use today. Uh, I use the Nubian 2 palette by Juvia's Place. And that's the front. I'll show you the inside. Beautiful colors. Looks like this. And um, yeah, it's amazing. I paid $28 for it. Um, it's perfection I mean I just feel like it's perfection if you saw my IMATS vlog um, the reason I got this was Lisa Alamo who I was shopping with she like swatched it on my hand and I was like oh, obsessed and so many people um, that I follow on like Instagram and Twitter and Facebook they have been posting this palette over and over and over again so I was like I don't want to be left out and those colors are freaking amazing I really feel like this palette was made with like my complexion in mind like all of the colors work really well for my skin so the colors that I use today uh, in my crease I had Jezebel this dark like purple kind of cranberry color I also have Kenya this chocolatey brown um, under my brow I use Zuri as a highlight and then on my lid I have Sheba so all of them are just balls. okay like seriously that's how pigmented it is I can't talk today that's how pigmented it is and while I was also at that same booth I picked up the Nubian one palette from Juvia's place um, and on the inside it looks like this a lot of people compare this to the Morphe 35O palette um, I don't own that palette so I decided to go ahead and get it and it was only 20 bucks and yeah I love a neutral palette okay and I love jewel tone neutrals I know I've probably said that in a couple of videos but I that's just what I feel like looks amazing on my skin tone. So then I ventured over to the Inglot booth. And you guys know if you've seen my previous like makeup collection videos or my eyeshadow palette collection video, you know I love Inglot. So this time I only picked up two products because I own so many of their eyeshadows, which I love. I own a bunch of their lipsticks. Um, and I own all of the blushes that I think work for my skin tone. So I didn't pick up any of that stuff. Um, I ended up getting a highlighter. And this is called the Sparkling Dust for Face, Eyes, and Body. And I got it in the number four. Um, I am wearing it today. You know, you see that? Um, but this is what it looks like. It's just a loose uh, highlighter. Just tap a little in the lid. And it looks like that. I'm running out of space. But yes, okay. That glow is everything. And yes, I have to credit this to Lisa because she had it first and she swatched it and I like ran over and got it. Um, but yes, I am just like obsessed with it. And it was only $12. And then I got a um, backup for my mattifying powder. Um, I already use this powder like every day, but the one I have is Hit Pan. So let's see if I can pull mine out. So um, you actually buy the little compact separate. And I bought it last year and this is the one I'm currently using so it's just a you know translucent mattifying powder but it works really well for me um, it's the best press powder that I've tried so it's really easy for me to just carry it in my purse everywhere and stuff like that but it definitely like 
you know <laughs> decreases that shine all right so next up i picked up one lippy over at the aj crimson booth so shout out to aj he was there doing um some demos and stuff like that at his booth and we took some selfies together and he's so sweet and he's like <laughs> gorgeous in person so i picked up one lippy it is the lipstick i'm wearing today and it is in the color no shade First of all, I want you to just check out this packaging. Okay, the lipsticks look like little silver bullets. I thought that was so cute. Um, but this is what it looks like. And I just think it's like perfection. I own a million nudes. I love nudes. Um, but I definitely don't own one like this. I mean, this is almost like the shade of my actual skin tone. Which I was like, oh, that's kind of different. So that's why I picked it out. And I just used a like a little cheapy um chestnut brown uh jordana liner just to make it pop a little bit and i really really like it and it's matte so next up i ventured over to lip bar and i picked up one lippy um because i wanted to try out their matte gloss so the color i picked up is called uh, silent killer looks like that and i love the packaging it's super cute and i believe these were also like 12 bucks and i'm running out of room but i'll swatch it down here um and it's actually like a bluish gray so on camera it's coming off more blue but it is definitely like a dark gray um and it dries matte so super cute very bold like for me um i usually you know if i'm gonna wear bold colors they're normally like purples pinks fuchsias red stuff like that so then I stopped by the Gleam by Melanie Mills Hollywood booth and I had to visit my girl Kathy aka the makeup detective on Instagram. So hey Kathy. So I decided to get um, another bottle of Gleam. This time I got the rose gold. So if you saw my um, I'm as Toronto vlog or haul the last time I got the deep gold color which is really pretty but I've like been thinking about the rose gold ever since and I freaking just love it. It is a liquid highlighter, but you can use it for like a zillion different things. Uh, you can use it as a primer, a moisturizer, like all over body glow, like a million different things. I've only tried them um, just as just a liquid, you know, highlight to give my face some glow. But you know, when the summertime comes, you never know. <laughs> I might be just gleamed out. <laughs> So then I made a stop at Nigel's Beauty Emporium and I just picked up a travel uh, cosmetics case and it is a really large bag. I actually bought one of these a few years ago at IMATS from Nigel's and I just recently broke the zipper like a few weeks ago and I was so sad. So I had to get another one um, but this time they have reinforced zippers like they have these really tough metal zippers and they look a little more heavy duty so i'm happy about that and then i had to stop by the friends beauty booth uh to visit my girls shyla and priscilla hey ladies so they were both um working the booth so shout out to them so i bought a few things um over at friends first off i got some lashes and they had lashes for one dollar like all of their lashes were a dollar i did buy 20 pairs of lashes but i only bought um the exact same pair so i got these uh and they're labeled as um style 962 but they're just a regular like everyday demi wispy lash and literally all 20 pair i got the same ones i'm actually wearing these lashes today and i doubled them so i'm wearing two pair um, and that's what they look like just to make it look a little more dramatic on camera but when I wear them like every day just to like go to work and stuff like that um, I can just wear one pair it just looks like my regular lashes but just a little fuller and then I picked up a few brushes um, if you notice on the handles they're a little smudged up because <laughs> I use them today so I bought I believe uh, six brushes I got two of these uh, blending brushes and these are the Stylazzy uh, S114s they look like this I love them it's just a fluffy like tapered blending brush and that's what I use to blend out my shadows um, and these were I believe three dollars each and then I got two of these um little angled eyeliner brushes and these are the s100 brushes they look like this and i actually use these to do my like gel eyeliner on my lids and i actually also use them when i use my anastasia um dip brow for my brows and i believe those are also three dollars and then i got the s133 brush 
which I'm loving. I wish I would have bought two of these brushes. I believe it was $5. Um, and this is what I use to apply that Inglot highlighter. Uh, and it just applies it so good. Like it blends it out, but it keeps it like really concentrated. So I wish I would have bought another one of these. And then I got a big boy like kind of contouring highlighting angle brush and this is the s126 i believe this one was seven dollars and it's just so fluffy and soft and i love it and then lastly at the friends booth i picked up some of their shadows and a z palette so all of their shadows um and their individual blushes were two dollars and they had a kind of a package deal like if you wanted to get a Z palette and then fill it up with the shadows it was a little discounted so I got a large size Z palette which holds 14 shadows and together it was $39 which I felt that was a pretty good bargain um, and these are the colors that I got I kind of got a wide range of colors like purples blue teal and a few shows brown stuff like that so um yeah i tried to like you know vary it i actually stuck this little shadow in here i forgot and that did not come from style Lazy. um that's actually a shadow from diva makeup queen uh, that i bought at last year's imax but i stuck it in here because i used this palette yesterday so yeah these are super good pigmentation definitely worth two bucks i mean i'm definitely running out of space but yeah as you can see um, definitely worth two dollars so I felt like that was an awesome deal okay so that's everything that I had to share with you guys I hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think down in the comments below and if you guys went to IMATS uh you have any you know hauls or vlogs or whatever just leave them below in the comments I would love to check them out and that's all that's it so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video peace out